So Yolanda, welcome back to the clinic today. How are you feeling? Feel good. You're all ready for your procedure? Yes, I'm ready. Uh, you know, get some rest, you know, later this evening and uh, just kind of take it easy. But tomorrow, you're going to feel free to be able to get up and around and go for a long walk. Uh, if you want to go out to dinner or go out to lunch, feel free to do so, just based on how you feel. Good. All right. So when we take this down, it may look a little odd unless we take down your hips and waistline as well. So turn to the side here. And... So this is the fat pad along here that I'm talking about. Usually when I do an abdomen on a woman or a man, I like to include the waistline and the hips because I think it brings things together nicely. Okay? So we're going to mark on you here. So we're ready to start making our little incisions and surprisingly you're not going to feel these very much at all. Just a little poke underneath the skin. Very good. Not bad, huh? incisions with this very tiny little instrument here, so that's all the bigger any of the incisions you're going to make on your body. We work through very small holes when we remove your fat. I think that's very important because not only is it uh, important to do an adequate job removing the fat, but part of a good liposuction surgeon's uh, um, duty is to make sure that uh, they don't leave any track marks later on, so in case some, this will ensure that we have cause as minimal amount of scarring as possible. You shouldn't be feeling this at all. We're going to start filling you up with the local anesthesia that we talked about. So we'll be doing this for the next 15 or 20 minutes. And you'll feel a little pinch here and there, maybe a little burn, but only a minimal amount of discomfort, if any. Not too bad? So this local anesthesia, um, does two things uh, during this procedure. Number one, it provides more than adequate anesthesia, so you're not going to feel anything during my procedure. But the second thing, and equally important, what it does is that it constricts or shuts down all of your tiny little blood vessels, so that during this procedure you're going to see that there's just a minimal amount of blood loss on the order of maybe one to two teaspoons. Most females lose more in one day of a menstrual cycle than they lose with one of these tumescent liposuction procedures. That means that there's minimal post-operative bruising and minimal post-operative pain. Here at Infini, we mainly use this tumescent technique with very small instruments. Um, we do have other modalities like laser and ultrasound in our clinic, but only would use those modalities if, or those uh, liposuction helping tools, if you will, if we absolutely need them. Um, They've never been proven to provide any definitive evidence of, uh, of improving your end result with liposuction. Um, sometimes, though, they can make things easier for the doctor uh, to remove the fat if we're having a problem removing the fat in a particular area. And someone like you who's never had previous liposuction, and I can feel right now that your fat is nice and soft, easy to work with, uh, we're not going to need to use any um, uh, tools to help us out removing the fat. Just pure, small instrument liposuction. You get a maximal amount of skin retraction by using small instruments, and uh, you're going to do very well with that technique. You're comfortable during the infiltration process because the lidocaine or the novocaine, really, the minute it hits, it, it, it numbs the tissue. It's the same type of anesthesia that you get if you went to the dentist or if you cut your finger and had to have stitches. You expected more discomfort? Yeah, it's surprisingly comfortable. Yeah. And this is the worst that it gets. Just a little, little pinch or a little burn here and there, but not much. Um, so, during this putting in of the anesthesia, you can see that your body's becoming swollen or bigger with fluid. That's actually what we're doing. We're kind of blowing you up first, filling you up with this water that's numbing the fat, and then, of course, when we start the suctioning process, most of that water will come out. Okay? So I'm going to have you turn to the other side now, Yolanda. All right, Yolanda, we are done with the anesthesia process. So I'm going to have you roll back onto your back. Oh, in my back? Very good. Just get your on your back. There. there you go. And just relax for the next 10 minutes. We're going to let that anesthesia get all set up. Things are pretty much numb right now, but we'll give it a little bit 
extra time. And then we'll come back in and we'll start the fun part, taking out the fat. Okay, Alana, so now we're ready to start the suctioning process. So you made me feel a little pressure as we're removing the fat, and it's going to be going right in that canister behind you. Even easier than putting in the anesthesia, huh? Yeah, that's a good anything. Fun, huh? So now, to get at some of this top part of this fat, this is where we have to be even more careful if we want to get accurate results. Uh, we need to use very small instruments. You can see the size of this instrument is one of the smallest that I use, but it ensures that we are going through tight spaces like the upper abdomen that we're not creating irregularities underneath the skin. Only by using small instruments can you really guarantee your patients the best results. So the other very interesting thing about uh, this form of lipo is that although we have to make multiple incisions to properly access the fat, uh, that's how we get the best results. We put incisions where we need to make them to get you the most accurate form of fat removal. But uh, you'll see here shortly, your incisions are, we're, we're almost done with the procedure and they're barely noticeable right now. Um, within a few months, you should probably even barely be able to tell you had surgery. Now we're in the final stages. I just want to make sure that we have everything perfect. Uh, so I want you to tighten your abdominal muscles for me, almost like you're doing a little crunch. That really allows me to check to make sure that we got things the way we want it. Of course, it's a little difficult for you to tell because you're very swollen right now with fluid, but I can tell because I squeeze the fat right there. As you can see, we're only about a quarter inch of fat left. We started off with about three and a half inches. That does, this is one of the tremendous advantages of doing this procedure under local anesthesia that we talked about. Because by you doing this, you being awake and being able to cooperate with the procedure, you can see how it pushes some of that deep fat up to me that I would have never seen before. So I can get a much more thorough removal of your fat compartment while you do that for me. Okay, you can lay down again. We are done, Yolanda. So, <laughs> so what I'd like to do now is we'll uh, stand you up and we'll get one final shot of you immediately after the procedure. And uh, then we'll get you dressed up in your garment and we'll get you on your way home. Okay. As you can see, this is immediately after the procedure. And she's standing up. We just are, have a very fluid filled skin right now that's going to take a while to, to contract back and that's part of the healing process for lipo. This was a, a just a phenomenal lipo procedure for her. Uh, we were able, really able to clean out the fat layer. You can see that we're left with about again a quarter inch of fat. So uh, almost two liters of fat. So with a small woman like you that's going to make a huge impact. Expecting something worse. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. It's good.